and welcome back to the Knack for Adventure YouTube channel. My name is AJ Cutler. In today's video, we are headed down to the desert for a last hurrah fall mountain biking trip with a bunch of our friends. I couldn't be more stoked because we have a van for the next two weekends. So um, we're gonna get this party started. <laughs> So in February, we partnered with a van rental company called VanCraft, and they have locations, I believe, in like San Diego, Denver, and now they have Salt Lake City. But it was really fun. We did like a little promo video with our friend Marcus Catlett. I'll put the link to that video below because it was one of the most fun projects that I got to work on, and it just ended up looking so goofy, and I feel like it captured me and Nick's relationship and like our trip perfectly. That was really fun to experience the van in the winter, but we're kind of like on the tail ends of summer, going into fall, almost like winter, almost, it's like October. <laughs> That's also like prime biking season. We thought it'd be really fun to take like a mountain bike van trip. And then we'll also be heading down to Rampage next weekend as well. So kind of two desert bike trips in a row. I'm really excited to have the van just because we don't have to set up camp and we can kind of just mosey along and bring our bed with us. So this morning we're gonna get packed up and then head out and hopefully get a bike ride in this afternoon slash evening. So um, let's get packing. I would say that my best hack for packing like vans and campers is to use laundry baskets to bring all your stuff out to the car. It's like a good way to carry a bunch of stuff but not have to like fully pack it into a bag. We've got a lot of things to pack today. So we need clothes. Check food. Check, check, check. Most importantly. <laughs> Mountain biking gear. Check our bike. Check. Camp things. Check. Oh my gosh, and I almost forgot. We need costumes. We are gonna be like dressing up with some of our friends and I'm really excited to show you our costumes, so. That's gonna be a secret until tomorrow when we go shuttle. It's really nice because the van comes with a lot of like the cooking utensils, so we don't have to worry much about that. It's like pretty much the same as the van we took out in winter, mm -hmm. but there are some things that have been upgraded and changed, so it's, it's gonna be cool to like compare and see which one we like. On the road in three, two, one. <laughs> off the pants. We just got to our spot and it's actually really close to the trail that we're gonna go ride today so we can just hop on the trail, hit the last half of the downhill and then pedal up and complete the loop. So the main differences for the van is they updated like an AC system which would be really nice during like the summer months but in fall it actually feels pretty good especially during the nighttime. We'll see if we'll need it. This one has these neat little bug nets. Nick's poking his head through. After setting up camp, it was time to go test out the trails.
lot much more comfy like on the turns through the trunk especially with the clipless pedals too like last time I didn't have clipless pedals and so I'm sure the trunk is gonna be so nice I was just talking to myself on the camera but last time I didn't have clipless so like it's so nice to be able to like pull up on those short uphills this is the chunky part Ooh, sun flare into Nick yeah you This is such a cool spot. That was such a good loop. It was also really weird to go down first and then end with the climb, but it's honestly kind of nice because the climb was more in the shade because it's later. We planned that out. <laughs> I don't know why, but this is like my favorite camp food. It's kind of folly. It's sweet potato vegan mac with the shells. So, you know, it's the good stuff. Mm -hmm. Filled to the brim, baby. <laughs> It is pretty stunning out here right now. <laughs> the mountains like over there are glowing. I'm a little sad because I forgot my charging cord for my GoPro. We're gonna try and get as much footage on the trail as possible and that's why I'm using like a real camera right now. And I actually really like how it looks, but it's just really heavy to hold in selfie mode. Our plan today is to do a couple like smaller shuttles and I'm really excited because we also all have costumes that we're doing and it's just gonna be like a fun, a fun day. I feel like I'm gonna have breakfast. You that bowl right there. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Did you get it? Yes. Very aesthetic. It's a me, Mario. <laughs> Where's the freaking gabagoo? Mario Kart course. <sighs> These berms are awesome, even though they're dry. They feel good. Very well built. I think there's a drop. 
drop up here. Of course, no desert shuttle would be complete without something going wrong. I ended up getting a flat halfway through the last section of our ride, but we were able to get it fixed thanks to Nick and my friend Carly. After our last lap, we headed back to camp to hang out, make some food, and refuel for the next day so we could do it all over again. We woke up and decided to do the same two trails, which resulted in me getting another flat tire on the same exact part of the same exact trail. After watching Nick change the tube for the second time in 24 hours, it's safe to say that I can change my own tube from now on. Despite some mechanical issues, we were able to end on some good notes and leave the desert satisfied and very, very dusty. Another huge thanks to Bancroft for partnering with us on this trip. Make sure to check out their website in the description below if you're interested in traveling in a van on your next mountain bike or ski trip. Check out my Instagram and TikTok at AJ Cutler for more mountain biking videos. Thanks so much for watching and keep on crushing. Bye.